just wanted to, you know, we've come in, in, in certainly maybe from 2020 and 2021, deal flow has slowed a little bit in healthcare and in most industries and certainly in healthcare a bit as well. Um, on, when you're looking at a deal, has the way you look at companies uh, or potential targets changed? Uh, is the due diligence more? I mean, I, we've all done a lot of deals and they were coming so hard and fast where, you know, I think we've been on a lot of deals where, wow, you know, the, the due diligence is done quick and it's done however it's done. Is that changing or uh, when you're looking at a, a deal kind of on the front end? Yeah, man, I don't, I don't think the diligence process has changed. I think even in 2021, when there was a lot more activity, you know, you still had to have a very rigorous process and utilize your third party providers. Um, and, and today I'd say maybe you have more time because the deals are less frequent in, in the market. So maybe you could go a little bit deeper and you're not quite as rushed. But, right. you know, it's, it's such an important topic um, that you really can't miss. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would say it's, it's more important than anything and it really hasn't changed. Yeah, I would echo that 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 comment. Um, I, I would add that one area where complexity is increasing is um, FDA as it relates to digital, and so I would say that the compliance and diligence needs are growing in digital as regulators, the FDA and others, are getting more involved, establishing standards, oversight, et cetera. I, I think it depends on the part of the market, right? So where you're playing, which is later stage, I think it's been pretty consistent. I think um, terms may have changed in 21 and 22 to be responsive to a really attractive market. Um, but the diligence process was accelerated, but still probably the same. The venture part of the market, it was the wild, wild west in 21. I mean, people were doing things that were completely irrational, throwing out term sheets, basically no diligence. I think part of that was you had uh, what we call the tourist investors, t- folks that weren't typically healthcare investors that came in, put a lot of money in the market very quickly and thought it'd be the same as general tech, right? And so didn't understand the regulatory aspects, didn't understand that you've got to deal with health plans and health systems and pharma companies. Um, and not to discredit them, I think it's a great opportunity, but they have pulled back quite a bit in the market, right? Uh, the growth part of, mar- part of the market is probably somewhere in between um, where growth equity investors are typically having a similar style of diligence to private equity but because the, I'm not gonna name names, but uh, public funds came into the late stage private part of the market, uh, again, they were starting to act somewhat irrationally like venture investors and the growth equity community was very perplexed is how I'd put it. And so I think a lot of that has changed. That's also why the venture and growth part of the market, I say is the most acutely hit in the last 12 months in terms of velocity of deal flow uh, because they're back to diligencing companies the way they should. They should be hiring counsel. They should be reading contracts themselves, right? Things that are pretty normal that they were just not doing as part of the 21 and 22 bubble. Not even going to talk about SPACs. MTS, we sponsored our own SPAC. We merged it with a public company, um, SOC Telemed, that was taken private. We had a number of meetings where I was shocked, where I was sitting in a 60-minute meeting, and a pipe investor said, yeah, I'm in for 20. Based off what? Well, just, you know, based off the 60-minute presentation. That was the level of diligence you had in 2020 and 21 with SPAC. So I think that has changed, and I think for, for the better. So back to normal in some, in some respect. Tom? Yeah, echoing all the same. I think deals are taking longer. Diligence processes have become elongated, but it's more so a function of just market activity and the fact that there is more time in the system to look at things in other you know, rotation. Uh, but I also think the tech diligence has evolved a little bit over the years. It used to be really just code scans to make sure the company owns what they've built. Now it's beyond the code scan, it's checking for other compliance risk, you know, PII exposure, cyber uh, security attacks, everything. So like that development of the, it's really one third party vendor of your deal process, but what used to take one week probably takes six now under LOI. But other than that, largely the same. Great, great. Well, I think that takes us to the end there. I want to thank everybody and certainly thank our panelists. Uh, Very interesting, and I'm sure more discussion will be had at the informal sessions, networking sessions that follow. So thanks a lot, uh, and looking forward to speaking to all of you uh, throughout the conference.